precedent of Glen Shiel, there was a decision on three chalets in Glen Shiel, uh, which we did check out before finalising the report. There's three letting holiday letting chalets. The reporter considered there had been a disregard for the prevailing traditional design. There was no structured design in their own right, and they had an alien appearance, and they would visually jar in the strong landscape setting within the same views alongside traditional buildings. Now, I haven't seen those chalets, I haven't seen the site, but we are content that this development on this site is acceptable. And as the um, clerk has said, we have to consider each application on its own merits and we have to look at it individually. Okay, so we didn't consider that um, affected the way that we assess this one. Um, Councillor McLean was saying that the houses adjacent are modern, which they are. Um, I think the conservation officer and the case officer were saying that this, these buildings had a, le a more temporary feel to them. I think what they were meaning were they were like they appear very secondary to the main building, and almost, you know, a, a subservient role to the main building. I mean, I wouldn't want to see a hillside of caravans, but that could be another application in its own right. But, you know, we do feel that they have sensitively designed this relative... I mean, these have been specifically designed for this site. These are not off-the-shelf chalets. Um, and, you know, they, they will be... Hopefully, they'll be used quite a lot, and um, that's not anything to do with the permanent feel. So I think that's what they were meaning, is they were their appearance makes them look very secondary. Subservient. Okay. Thank you for that, Councillor Patterson. Well Thank you, Madam Chairman. Um, yes, I, I think Strathpeyford is probably the best example we have of a Victorian village. It's absolutely stunning. And I, I can understand that, you know, the Community Council's concerns. Um, it is a difficult site because it's pretty steep at the, at the back. Um, pleased to see that um, the tree protection plan will be submitted. Um, I just took up something that the local members said that the community councils sometimes feel that they're not being listened to and you know we all go to the community councils and they do sometimes say well there's no point in objecting because we're not being listened to but actually they are being listened to and I just wondered I, I've no problem with it except for that the small last bit from the chairman Kit Bowen saying that in short the Strathclyffe Community Council would like the um, chalets to be redesigned to meet what they perceive as appropriate to the conservation area and that they would maybe like it to be deferred whilst the redesign is discussed and I just wondered if the local members had any strong feelings about that because I think that is a really important statement. Thank you for that. Could I just clarify perhaps, Julie, that the Community Council have seen the most recent application? Yes, they have seen the most recent application. Um, yeah, the amended plans, they have seen them. Okay, thank you they for were, that. They were advised when they came in. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we have negotiated fairly long and hard on this application. There was a previous application, as you can see from your papers, um, which was an application in principle. And we said that we didn't feel that that was sufficient for adjacent to a listed building, conservation area setting, and we wanted much more information to be able to be content that um, we were having something that was acceptable here. So we have been in discussion and negotiation with this developer for a long time. No, thank you for the comments about the Community Council. I mean, I do value Community Council's opinions and planning, and we are encouraging that. I would just say today the reason this application is here is because of the Community Council's objections, so you know it is being heard. Um, just because I wouldn't like to leave Mr Kemp out, I wondered if you anything you wanted to add to what was stated in the report. Uh, no objections subject to conditions in the report. Would any other members with comments at all um, had our... Um, is issues addressed. In that case, I would take you to the recommendation um, and uh, ask for your agreement to the recommendation. Agreed. Okay, thank you for that. Chairman, that will be subject to the changes outlined by Mrs. Ferguson regarding condition one and yes. renumbering of. Yes, Shopping. thank you for that. Yes. I'd like to now move on to.
I'd like to move on to item 6.4 in our agenda, and that is on 6.3, which is on page 47.